Hi everybody, in this video we are going to discuss about the post fertilization events. Post fertilization events. So what do you mean by the word post fertilization events? All the events that are taking place after the double fertilization. All the events that are taking place after the double fertilization is called as post fertilization events. Post fertilization events. So here there are various events that will be taking place under post fertilization events right after the double fertilization. So what are those events? The first event that we are going to discuss is the endosperm formation. Endosperm formation. Endosperm formation. This is the first event that comes under the post fertilization events. Post fertilization events. And right after this we are going to discuss about the embryo formation. Embryo formation embryo formation and this is the second event that is taking place under post fertilization events and the third one is the seed formation seed formation seed formation this is the third event under post fertilization events and the fourth one the last event that we are going to discuss under post fertilization is fruit formation fruit formation these are all the events that will be called as the post fertilization events. So here it is very clearly understood now. If there is, if you have to say what are, what is post fertilization events means? In simple, all the events that are taking place after the double fertilization are called as post fertilization events. After the double fertilization. So what are those events that are taking place after for double fertilization? The first one is endosperm formation. Endosperm is what the nutritive material for the growing embryo, developing embryo. Next is what embryo. Embryo will be formed. Embryo formation. Next is what seed formation. And the third one is fruit formation. Fruit formation. So these are the four events that we are going to discuss under post fertilization events. Under the post fertilization events. So here, so here we are going to discuss the first one known as the endosperm formation endosperm formation so endosperm is formed from the triploid nucleus okay endosperm is formed from the triploid nuclei so here we, we, we know that this triploid nucleus we are calling it as what primary endosperm nucleus triploid nucleus or we, we can simply say 3n okay because it is made up of what Two polar nuclei and one male gamete. Two polar nuclei and one male gamete fused together. We call it as vegetative fertilization. So here, this triploid nucleus, we are calling it as what now? The primary endosperm nucleus. Primary endosperm nucleus. So endosperm is formed from what means? It is formed from the primary endosperm nucleus. Primary endosperm nucleus. Remember that. So from where the endosperm is formed? It is formed from the primary endosperm nucleus. And now this endosperm that is formed from what, or let us say directly now, this primary endosperm nucleus is given as to what? The endosperm. Okay, let us say endosperm. Okay, endosperm. And this endosperm is formed prior to the embryo formation. That is very, very important sentence. You have to keep it in your mind. Okay. This endosperm is formed prior to the embryo formation. Why it should be formed prior to the embryo formation? Because it is this endosperm which will be supplying nourishment to the growing embryo, to the developing embryo. And also later on even to the seedling also, even to the seedling also the endosperm will be used as the nutritive material. So you have to remember, so in simple, we have to remember that this endosperm is rich in, it is rich in food material. It is rich in food material. Okay? It is rich in food material. And this is formed, which is rich in food material and endosperm. This is formed before what? The embryo. Which will be used as the nutritive material, the food material for the developing embryo and as well as even for the seedling also the endosperm will be used as the food material and this formation of the endosperm you know soon after the fertilization soon after the fertilization means what one male gamete fused with the egg in the embryo sac fusion of male gamete with the egg soon after this okay 
what is formed? Zygote is formed. So here soon after the fertilization mix, zygote formation which is deployed, which is deployed. So right after the formation of the zygote, okay, right after the formation of the zygote, zygote is formed by what? One male gamete that is brought by the pollen tube and another egg. Okay, that is called as what now? It is nothing but the female gamete. When these two fuse together, what is formed? Zygote. And this zygote is what? It is deployed. It is deployed. The male gamete is haploid. Female gamete is haploid. They are fused together and formed as what? Zygote. So soon after the fertilization, soon after the fertilization, once this process occurs, once this process occurs, immediately what happens? There will be formation of what? Endosperm. The primary endo the primary endonucleus, okay, primary endosperm nucleus, primary endosperm nucleus undergoes repeated division to form as what? Endosperm right after the fertilization process. This is what we are calling it as fertilization process. Okay, right after the, soon after the fertilization, soon after the fertilization, there is formation of what? Endosperm. There is formation of endosperm. From where this endosperm is formed? From the primary endosperm nucleus. So, soon after the fertilization, primary endosperm nucleus undergoes division to form as what? Endosperm. So, this growth and development of the endosperm which is rich in food material obtains food from the growing plant. The plant will be supplying all the nourishment, the food material that is prepared in the plant. Where from the, from the plant, the food is absorbed and stored in the endosperm. So, endosperm is rich in food material which is formed right after the fertilization from the primary endosperm nucleus which is triploid, which is triploid. But this endosperm may be of different types, may be of different types. So, we will see now the types of endosperms, okay, the type, different types of endosperms. So here we are going to discuss about different types of endosperm based upon their mode of formation. Depending upon the mode of formation, there are three different types of endosperm. Okay, there are three different types of endosperm based upon the mode of formation. Based upon the mode of formation. So what are those three different types? The first type is called as the nuclear endosperm. Okay, otherwise free nuclear endosperm we call it as nuclear endosperm. Then the second one, then the second one is called as the helobium. Okay, helobium endosperm. Okay, helobium endosperm. And the third one is called as the cellular endosperm. Okay, cellular endosperm. So there are three different types of endosperm based upon the mode of formation. Based upon the mode of formation. So here we are going to discuss these three now one by one how they are formed. Okay, in this class we are going to discuss now how these three different types of endosperms are formed. So now we are going to discuss about each one. Okay, nuclear, cellular and helobium endosperm. Nuclear, cellular and helobium endosperm. Let us try to make it very easy with simple diagrams. Okay, to understand this if we will use simple diagrams to understand very clearly about how these different types of endosperms are formed okay so the first one okay first one we will see the nuclear endosperm first one we will discuss about the nuclear endosperm so here it is like this So let us see with the diagram. Nuclear endosperm, nuclear endosperm, or otherwise, this nuclear endosperm is also called as free nuclear endosperm. Okay, free nuclear endosperm we call it as. Free nuclear endosperm we call it as. And this is mostly found in dicots. In dicots, this is mostly found in 
डाइपोड्स स्पेशली इन पॉलीपेटेलिए स्पेशली इन पॉलीपेटेलिए दिस टाइप ऑफ इंडोस्पर्म इज प्रेजेंट दिस टाइप ऑफ इंडोस्पर्म इज प्रेजेंट नाउ वी विल सी वेरी क्लियरली व्हाट इज दिस न्यूक्लियर और फ्री न्यूक्लियर एंडोस्पर्म हियर इज द एम्ब्रियो सेल and here we are saying that this is now has changed into what the endosperm because fusion of what again the same point okay fusion of what two polar nuclei with one male gamete it has formed the primary endosperm nuclei so let us say now this is what now the primary endosperm nuclei p e n represents what primary endosperm nuclei this primary endosperm nuclei will undergo repeated division please remember what is undergoing division it's not the cell it is the nuclei it is the nuclei the primary endosperm nuclei undergoes repeated division and forms into many nuclei in one cell only there are many nuclei there are many nuclei present in one cell and these nuclei slowly starts moving towards the periphery they are moving towards the periphery so the nuclei all the nuclei that are formed are slowly moving towards the periphery towards the margins of the cell and most of the place is occupied by what now the vacuole okay vacuole is occupied here but of course here what is there present here the main one it is it is what here that is present it is nothing but the embryo that will be developing now that will be developing absorbing the nourishment from this endosperm so here we are just trying to identify that showing here the embryo of course okay now what we said the primary endosperm nuclei undergoes repeated cell division and forms into many nuclei multi nucleated so this is now showing as what now multi nucleated okay multi nucleated and all these nuclei are moving towards what periphery right after this cell division what should happen right after the nuclear division what should happen cell wall formation should be taking place which we call it as what cytokinesis but here cytokinesis is not taking place so immediately there are many nuclei that are formed and this nuclei will be moving towards the periphery we said and now after which then there will be cell wall formation around each nuclei there will be wall formation around each nuclei so in the very beginning what is not seen there is no formation of what the wall formation cytokinesis is not taking place immediately but what is happening here only the number of nuclei is increasing which we are calling it as multi nucleated so many nuclei has formed later there will be wall formation around these cells so here what we are seeing free nuclei the nucleus is free so that's what we are calling it as free nuclear endosperm we are calling it as free nuclear endosperm okay free nuclear endosperm we are calling it as and the best examples the best examples that we can see here are that which are showing the nuclear free, uh, nuclear or free nuclear endosperm are the best examples we can take here as the best examples that we have to remember when we are talking about the nuclear or free nuclear endosperm so what are the best examples coming under nuclear or free nuclear endosperm the best examples we will highlight here the best example is cotton maize capsilla and cotton as uh, coconut milk sorry coconut milk coconut milk coconut milk means what the water that we drink the water that we drink from the coconut that is the free nuclei please remember thousands of nuclei will be there present in it so that is called as the coconut milk so all these are the best examples which will be showing free nuclear endosperm free nuclear endosperm and the last point that i have to keep in mind when we are talking about the nuclear or endos free nuclear endosperm is that please remember this is the most common type of endosperm in angiosperms okay in angiosperms please remember this this is the most common type of endosperm that will be formed in the angiosperms the common one okay let us say the most common type of uh, endosperm is in the angiosperms is the nuclear or free nuclear endosperm very very important one you have to keep that okay in your mind 
So let us talk about this second one. Let us talk about this second one. That is cellular endosperm. Okay, cellular endosperm. So in cellular endosperm, as the name itself tells, we will be seeing that the endosperm is made up of cells. It is made up of cells, and this is found. Okay, cellular type of endosperm. Cellular type of endosperm is found in gametophyte. Okay, in found in gametophyte. Please remember this gametophyte. It is very familiar in or found in gametophyte. So in this, what we see when we are seeing the endosperm formation, here is the nuclei. Here is the nuclei. Let us try to understand with the diagram. Let us try to understand with the diagram. So now, cellular endosperm. What we say? It is mostly found in what? Gametophyte. Mostly found in gametophyte. How this cellular endosperm is formed? As as we said, the term itself states here, cellular as cells they are present. Okay. See here, this is the endosperm, primary endosperm nuclei. So what is this? This is the same primary endosperm nuclei. This primary endosperm nuclei. Will undergo repeated division. It will undergo repeated division and forms many nuclei. It is forming many nuclei. But here, please follow this carefully. That right after the division of the nuclei, it is followed with the cytokinesis. Once the nucleus is divided, immediately what is formed? What is taking place? Cytokinesis means cell wall formation is taking place. Okay, cell wall formation will be taking place. But in the previous one, what we said? Many nuclei are formed, multi-nucleated. We said in the previous one, but here we are saying that right after the division of the nucleus, it is followed by what cell wall formation. So here, wall formation is seen. Here is primary endosperm nuclei, which is dividing and formed into how many now? Two, and they are two divided by what wall? Okay, wall formation, cytokinesis. So division of nucleus is followed by what cytokinesis. Division of nucleus is followed by cytokinesis. And again, these two nuclei will be divided. Here you can see many nuclei are formed, and all of them are what they are having their own cell wall. So here, all these cells of the are nothing but what the endosperm. So all this is what now the endosperm cells. These are all the endosperm cells that are formed. So this is one thing that we have to keep in mind when you are differentiating between nuclear and cellular. Okay, cellular. So in the nuclear part, we said only the nucleus will be multiplying till the end. Later on, cellular or cell wall formation will be taking place. But here, right from the beginning, once the nucleus divides, immediately what is formed? Wall is formed. Wall is formed, and it is forming many nuclei followed by cell wall. So this is how the endosperm is formed, and they are called it as cellular endosperm. And the best examples are what the tuna. Petunia, of course, Datura and Petunia are belonging to the same family, Solanacea only. Datura is a poisonous flowering plant. This is normal flowering plant. Datura, Petunia, Balsam, okay, Balsam, Utricularia, and Coconut Carpora. We are saying, but in the previous one, we also mentioned coconut milk. We said that watery fluid is nothing but containing multi-nucleated nuclei. Thousands of nuclei will be there. But here, what we are saying, coconut carpora means that white part of the coconut. White part of the coconut will be coming under as what cellular endosperm. White part of the coconut that we also call it as what the white kernel. Okay, we also call it as white kernel. We call it as or otherwise we also call it as the white meat. Okay, sorry, coconut meat. We call it as the coconut meat. We call it as okay, coconut meat. We call it as. So this is again another one which we should keep in mind. Different names that we have to keep in mind. So these are the points regarding what cellular endosperm. Cellular endosperm. So let us discuss about the third type of endosperm. The third one is what the helovial type. Okay, helovial type or helovial endosperm. Okay, helovial endosperm. Okay, 
In this, we will discuss with the help of a diagram again. With the help of a diagram, we will understand it very clearly. Okay, so let us see this. So this is what now uh, the endosperm. Okay, here the primary endosperm nucleus. This is the primary endosperm nucleus. And here is what now the growth of the embryo. Okay, growth of the embryo. And now here we will see now. Here we will see and try to understand it. So here, helobial endosperm, helobial endosperm. So here if you are seeing, you have to remember that helobial endosperm is intermediate endosperm between nuclear and the cellular endosperm types. Okay, it is an intermediate type. Please keep this point in, in your mind that it is intermediate type between nuclear and nuclear and cellular endosperm. Remember this. Okay, it is an intermediate type of endosperm between nuclear and cellular endosperm. Why we are saying it as intermediate, we will understand it. See here. Helobial endosperm means the primary endosperm nucleus, the primary endosperm nucleus undergoes the division. Okay, it undergoes the division. Here, as soon as it undergoes the division, it is forming into two nuclei. It is forming into two nuclei and as we have seen in the second one, cellular endosperm, immediately what is formed here now? the cell wall formation is taking place, cytokinesis will be taking place. So the two nuclei are divided by the endosperm. So right after the first division of the nuclei, right after the first division of the nuclei, if they are separated by what? The cell wall, by cytokinesis process, by cytokinesis, they are separated. And if you see clearly, the cell, okay, which is towards the micropylar end of the Okay, of this endosperm or the embryo sac is large in size. See here, this cell is little large in size. Okay, so you have to remember which cell is large in size means the cell which is towards the micropylar end and the cell which is towards the chalazal end will be smaller in size, which, which having what two nuclei only. So this is small and this is larger in size. This is larger in size. And now the cell which is towards the larger in size and the cell which is towards this chalazal region is, is small and towards micro micropylar and is large in size. Now, see here. Now, see here. Now, if you are seeing that this nuclei, okay, will be undergoing many divisions. Same case, even with the nuclei towards the chalazal end, separated by wall, okay, they are undergoing like as the first one, nuclear or free nuclear division. Free nuclear division. See here, one nucleus only divided into many nuclei. Here also one nucleus only divided into many nuclei. So, but here in the very beginning, what we said, the nucleus divided into two and separated by a wall. That is like cellular mode of formation, okay, cellular endosperm formation. But here again, one nuclei dividing, it is satisfying for the nuclear division. So here, there are many nuclei that are formed, not followed by immediately by wall formation. Here also many nuclei are formed, not followed by wall formation. Later on, later on, all these will be changing into cells by formation of the cell wall. So it is like cellular endosperm. So here, this is like now what completely like? This is completely like what now? The cellular endosperm. Okay, it is completely like cellular endosperm. So that's why, because it is showing both the types like nuclear endosperm, multinucleated, Cellular endosperm forming the cell wall. That's why we are calling it as what? Intermediate endosperm. Okay, it is intermediate between nuclear and cellular endosperm, which is called as what? Helobial endosperm. Helobial endosperm. So the best examples are in which this type helobial type of endosperm is found in is it is in the order, order. Let us say in which one we are seeing means it is the order helobials. Okay, order helobials. 
that are nothing but specially monocots. So in monocots, we will be seeing what now the helovial type of endosperm. Okay, helovial type of endosperm. So this is the three different types of endosperm. How they are formed based upon the mode of formation. We have categorized the endosperm into three types. First one is what nuclear. Second one is cellular, and the third one is helovial. Third one is helovial. So there are some points that we have to keep in mind but at the end of this endosperm formation. So once you learn about the endosperm formation, these points are very important. So remember that endosperm is completely consumed by the developing embryo. As the embryo is growing, in some cases the endosperm will be completely consumed. The endosperm is completely consumed because it is the nourishment. In some of the examples like pea, groundnut and beans. In these, endosperm is completely consumed by the developing embryo. But in other cases, it may persist, means it may be retained, it may be remaining even in the mature seed. Even after the formation of the embryo, still there will be the presence of what? Endosperm. Okay, there will be the presence of endosperm, which we will be discussing it very clearly when we are talking about the seed formation. But here, remember that the endosperm may be retaining, remaining in the seed that is in examples like castor and coconut. Castor and coconut and even in some cereals like what? Rice, wheat and maize. Rice, wheat and maize. Even in this, the endosperm will be persisting. But before we end up this class, there is one question that we have to keep in mind. One question that is we have to keep in mind. Why the endosperm of the angiosperms why the endosperm of the angiosperms is triploid is triploid okay we said triploid means what it is formed by triple fusion 3n endosperm cells all the endosperm cells are of what now triploid only why it is actually it should be 2n diploid but it is not so this is a Again, observed in what? The angiosperms. It is observed in the angiosperms. Why it is so? Okay, why it is so? It is an extra structure, we say. It is a very important structure that is endosperm formed in the angio angiosperms, which is used as the food material, which is triploid. The simple reason is to supply more nourishment of food material for the developing embryo. That food material is absorbed from the new cell cells. Okay, how the endosperm is uh, rich in food material means the new cells and the integuments, new cells and integuments of what? These two are of what? These two are the structures of what? The ovule. The structures of the ovule, new cells and integuments. So, because the endosperm cells are triploid, they will be absorbing more amount of nourishment from the new cells and integuments so that they can supply for the developing embryo. But please remember, if it is in gymnosperms, if it is in gymnosperms, it is, it is haploid only, which is haploid. It is haploid formed from the Megaspore formed from the repeated division of the megaspore. Please remember endosperm of the gymnosperms. Okay, is what it is haploid. It is haploid formed from the megaspore. Formed from the megaspore. Please remember this, which is very important point. Thank you so much.